What's up, my name is Technobe here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be talking about how to fix the all too common Steam API error that you could be getting when you're firing up any game. First of all, I do need to tell you that if you're trying to play games that you didn't get legally through your Steam account, as in other sources, this guide is not for you and it won't be of any help to you. If you did obtain a license or a key to play a game and it's officially owned by you on your Steam account, then congratulations, this video should definitely help you. First of all, if you haven't already, try and restart your PC to see if that solves the issue. If it doesn't, the next thing we can try is the Windows firewall to make sure that it's not blocked. If you're using a third-party firewall software or antivirus, make sure that it's not blocked in there. And a simple way to verify is to temporarily disable your antivirus or your firewall and see if that fixes the issue. For the Windows firewall, if you don't have any third-party software installed, hit start and type in firewall, who will be opening the Windows Defender firewall. If you don't see a screen that looks like this, try a different option from your start menu. What we'll want to do is head across to allow an app or feature through Windows Defender firewall, and you should see a list of programs here. Unfortunately, because I'm using an antivirus, the list isn't showing here on my screen. What you'll want to do is scroll down to both Steam and the game that you're trying to play and make sure that the tick boxes under private and public are both checked. Then click OK and we can close out of this window here. That means that it's not being blocked by our Windows firewall. Hopefully the game should be working now and the Steam API error should be gone. If it's not, try close out of Steam entirely. Open up Steam. In the top left, click Steam and choose Exit. Then we'll need to locate the Steam icon, right click and choose Run as Administrator. Hopefully this fixes the issue. If it does, you can right click the shortcut, click Properties, and then head across to the Compatibility tab, where we can tick Run this program as Administrator, apply then OK to always have Steam run as Admin whenever we double click the shortcut. If you haven't already, try temporarily disabling your antivirus, as if that's causing any issues, it should hopefully step around it. Finally, the last solution I can suggest to you is open up your Steam client, find whatever game you're having issues with, right click, then click properties and head across to the local files tab, where we'll click verify integrity of game files. This should run through all of the files for the game on your computer and hopefully things should be working properly when it's done if it finds any corrupt or unhappy files. Anyways, that's really about it for this video of quick tips. Hopefully this fixed any issues that you could be experiencing. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno, be here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.